become a littlest groom. Glenn Foster came to Malibu with an open heart, seeking his destiny. He was met by 12 women who were reduced to five. Well, congratulations, Mika, Leanne, Karen, Maxie, and Jenny. They moved in, they laughed, they played. Thanks, me. Then they started to compete for keeps. I'd like to win, and I'll do anything possible to get to that point. But there was a twist, an average-sized twist, that changed everything as three more women were added to the fray. Please welcome Christina, Zoe, and Amy. When I first saw it, I was like, holy Tonight, tension grows and life gets tough. Maxie seems like she's pissed off at something. I got a little jealous, so I made my move. It's intense. The littlest groom can only choose one. She doesn't know it, but if she says yes, she'll receive a spectacular two-carat diamond ring, Mediterranean cruise, and the hand of a man who is one in a million. The littlest groom. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the decent marathon. Download Veely now. These girls, that's all they're going to be focused on, too. It's time to start playing hardball. I think, in a way, it's intimidating because they're all gorgeous women, but I think we are, too. So, I mean, all they got is height. They were a little bit overwhelmed by it, and they kind of had their like standoffishness. That's intimidating to those girls out there. I know they're hurt. I don't even have to talk to them. Maxie seems like she's mad, pissed off at something. Maybe she feels that by having an average size woman come in, it makes it a lot harder for her because she knew who her competition was, and maybe she was in her comfort zone. How does my hair look? Spiky. Yeah. Awesome. Mohawk. Mohawk. <laughs> David Becker. Mock. He's like the hef. He's like the well, hef. Mini, mini hef. Yeah, hef the mini pimp. I've dated average, I've dated little. It's not about how tall you are. I can't be a person who's like, I always date short people because I'm short. If you got it, I'm here for you. I had no clue what to expect. No idea. I think he's a ladies man. Because he's like, oh, you know, you come here. You come here. I'm like nannies, you guys spread me all around. I'm not gonna make it like I'm getting more attention than one. I'm here for a reason. I'm here to get to know each and all of them. coming along every once in a while, and I don't think she wants one of us to take him. She's a little bit more aggressive than I am. She's also a little bit younger than I am, and I don't feel like, I mean, aggression is good, you know, when you want, you want things, but sometimes overdoing it. I think she's overdoing it a lot, and I, I could never be that kind of person. shower. I've been in his shower? Yeah. Been in the shower with him? Yes. Ha-ha! Who was it? Was it Mika in there? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you join them? <laughs> I just asked him. I just had a good date with him today. I don't need to lower myself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did she go up there and ask him for a one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> Come on! Yeah, why don't you go pull on the side? Okay, I... I want full... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was about to say full details. 
I realized that Amika was being very aggressive, and、um, I heard that she got in the shower with Glenn, and I got a little jealous, so I made my move. Join, join, join! I'll do whatever you want. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a squeegee. I like wash it. That night, I could tell she wanted to know me more. I was taken back because it was like, "Whoa, where did that come from?" It's intense. Hi. All right. I feel so lucky. Hey, anytime. Okay. But I really don't think these girls are like interested in him at all. You date average size. Men, Guys, correct.、Yeah. Okay, so what's the difference of an average size woman, though, being interested in? Because they're so. I don't know. Guys usually like their girls to be shorter. You know. I don't know many guys that like to date girls that are like six feet tall. I think that's hot. Yeah. A little bit on the wild side. I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. Other girls are more quiet, and I know it seems like they're thinking stuff that they want to say, but they're not necessarily like just coming out and saying it. Here's the twist. Oh yeah. <laughs> It was like a big slumber party. I was expecting them to be very conceited and probably maybe a little snooty, but I mean we're all here for the same reason. I think he's absolutely going to keep Christina around because he even said you're so different. I mean she's hilarious. And I think that it's definitely somebody that he'd like to get to know more because I don't think he's met anybody like her. The process is, I think of a model of who I am, a model of what I'm looking for. Then I take those girls and I compare, I match them up to me, and I see how they fit with me, exactly as far as looks, personality, heart, feelings,、um, beliefs, all that stuff. Where are you? Oh my God, we're all here. <laughs> like I gotta eliminate four people in like a matter of hours. So like, I need all three of you. You know, just to talk, just to chat. You know, he's, he's having a one-on-one -on -one with one of the girls. I saw.、Oh. Yeah, a one-on-one, -on -one, whatever. What? <laughs> a little chit chat. I hope we have sweet dreams tonight. He's here for real. I'm just very open to new things and meeting new people. To me, you can learn a lot from a conversation. That's my plan. Well, I enjoyed speaking with you very much. Thank you. I hope you have sweet dreams just in time. We're gonna have a great day tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Well, here we are, back in the bouquet room. And、um, today, when the ceremony is over, only four of you will remain in play. If Glenn does present you with one of the four bouquets here, it's another sign that you're getting closer to winning his heart. So, what can I say? Good luck to all of you, Glenn. First off, I'd like to thank you all again for being here. The people who are going to go home today—that's nothing personal. I'd like to present my first bouquet to a woman who was very, very sincere.、Um, I can tell she totally enjoys life.、Um, she really is really a focused woman, and、um, I'm really excited to get to know her further. I have a lot more memories and a lot more fun. So, my first bouquet I'd like to present to. In the beginning, I thought maybe I wasn't gonna get to know.、Um, kind of like was really shy. But through the last couple days, I've realized I'm gonna have to work for this. This isn't something that's gonna come that easy. 
if I want to get to know this special person, I'm going to have to open up my heart and they're going to have to open theirs. And that kind of, that's a challenge. I like challenges a lot. She's a very beautiful girl in every single way. And she just carries the innocence with her. And uh, I'd like to present my second bouquet to Maxie. I'd like to present my third bouquet to a woman who uh, I really feel like I hit it off with um, so far. Um, she really is a real person who just wants to get to know people, and that's her high. I love that. It's great, because I'm the same way. So I'd like to present my third bouquet. Tamika. Left. Yep. Are we ready? Have we decided? I'm ready. Okay, good luck. All right. So let's present my last bouquet to a woman who is someone they want to get to continue to know. She's here to have fun, and that, that's, all, that's all there is to it. Um, I really enjoyed spending time with her. I really enjoyed our conversations, her genuineness. Um, it's somebody I could definitely see myself continue to know further. And hopefully, if something works out great, we'll let time do that. But I'd like to present my last and final bouquet. To Zoe. Congratulations to all of you who received a bouquet. And uh, that is a sign that you will be staying and having more fun, getting to know Glenn a lot more, correct? Correct. Looking forward to that? I'm definitely looking forward to that. And to all of you who didn't receive one, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys had a great time. And uh, we wish you a lot of happiness and love. Thank definitely. You. you guys are great. affection toward him. I was definitely kind of letting him know that, you know, just really wasn't my type. I'm surprised that uh, Zoe was the last pick. I knew he was going to pick one of the average girls, but I didn't figure it would be her. But you know what? More power to him. He probably felt like he had a connection and he wanted to get to know her more. I came into this show thinking, I'm going to win. That was me. You know, go, go, go but it just wasn't there and I couldn't fool him. The kind of person I am, I can't do that. I thought there might be a possibility that I was picked, but you don't really know what's going on in somebody's mind because I just met him last night. I was disappointed that I wasn't chosen. I mean, he has to go with his heart. I think actually I'm a little bit too much for him to handle. It can be overwhelming. So get on your board like you're like you're rolling. I've never taught a guy how to skateboard. So it was interesting and he picked it up like You're good. He was just born to skate. He was like, See? Well I would have probably fell on my butt though. Skateboarding, that was like that's me. That's who I am. Just relax, chill out. I was in shorts and a t-shirt. You know, she's the same kind of way, you know, just all about just outdoorsy, relaxing, having fun. <laughs> I believe that Glenn and I have a really good chemistry right now and that things are working pretty well. But I don't know if it's the same with all the other girls. 
I'm just gonna keep my faith and be honest with him and be honest with myself. Yeah, I mean, I can call you Olivia. We all got a chance to kiss her, got a chance to hug her. We had a little bit of an ice cream fight. We were such a mess, it was wonderful. You're such a good little kisser. Chocolate tears. Bye, pretty. Bye, sexy daddy-o. <laughs> with Leanne. This is a perfect opportunity to share this, you know, I love fishing, get to talk. That's more my, my style also, just being somewhere quiet, and I'm an outdoors person, so I love being outside. These are pretty big. <laughs> Do you want the smaller ones? Sure. Right. This is disgusting. <laughs> I love it. You're like gutsy. You just do it. That's awesome. No, I just saw a fish. Did you? Yeah. Just sitting and talking, and just one-on-one -on -one was really nice with him. I do. Ah. I got one. It's small. Do you have one? Yeah. Holy. Yeah. That is huge. <laughs> Great job. She caught a fish like yay big. I caught a fish like yay big. That's right. You caught one. Yeah, I guess that's, that's, that's a good thing. It's not the size, right? It's not the size. <laughs> <laughs> She's got great morals, great family background, um, sweet as could be. And I like a lot of things about her, you know? She really intrigues me. Good day. A very nice day. It was fun. It was fun. I actually never, I never From the beginning, him and I have been on the same level of just being very open and honest. And I, I feel like there's some sparks. She's standing there, like, as cute as ever, little skirt. She's like, follow me. She grabs my hand, and we start going down the beach. She has a nice little picnic set up for me. Cheers. Cheers. She's getting to know you better. Aww, You're you awesome. Too. You too. She's more than good looking. She's gorgeous. She's, whew, she's a hot girl. I'm really enjoying myself. I don't really have time to, like, get away from anybody. Yeah. I'm glad that now I don't have to, like, steal you. Yeah. You have the conversation with somebody I would want to you are a very beautiful girl. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Anything for you, baby? This is freaking hilarious! <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> I'm glad that he's really like outgoing because it made it easier and he's fun. Definitely fun. Thank you. I'd like to hang out with him some more, that's for sure. I hope you're having a good time. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, isn't you? Yeah. Because you're what it's all about. She's a beautiful girl, but she has a great heart. She's definitely a catch for any man. Any man. You look so unbelievably hey. pretty. Thank you. How are you doing? Not so bad yourself. Good, I'm doing good. This setting, this location on the beach, this restaurant, Maxie looking gorgeous. Holy moly, that dress was unbelievable. She's a hot chica. This is actually my dream day. We went to a nice restaurant on the beach, and it was great. It was candlelight. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. It's lovely. Thank you. The best thing about Maxie is she's completely genuine. Very open. She likes to be romantic, I can tell. She likes to love people. I want to marry someone and, you know, be with them forever. Mm -hmm. When I get married, I don't want to rush and have kids. I want to spend like two to three yeah. longer years with my wife together and that's no kids. I love kids, I want yeah. kids. Yeah, I do too. I just don't want to rush that, you know? We had a fortune teller come, and he told us some things that were just so right on, I couldn't really believe it. Well, this suggests that there's going to be a lot of intensity and uh, a lot of passion. It's, it's really easy for you to get along together. And uh, you've got great determination, and, and you can follow anything through, but you like to dominate in most situations. I do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> But I also see that there's probably a trip here for you both, uh, maybe even overseas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this could be really fun. <laughs> artistic qualities too, you've got artistic qualities. I love to draw. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you thinking about 
children because these are cards of pregnancy here. No, I'm really not. <laughs> it's really not in my mind. Not really. Well, you better be careful then <laughs> because the potential for pregnancy is very strong. I had a fabulous time with you. And that was insane. That was incredible. I know. And if anything, that probably bring us closer. There's definitely something there as far as feelings. She has a beautiful heart that she wants to share with me. And I feel like she has a spark for me. And I have, I have a spark for her. So everybody on the boat today? Mm hmm Yeah. Let's talk about our dates. I think Mika and I are really competitive against each other. I think she's here to win. I don't think she genuinely likes him. Mika's a very pretty girl, and she knows it. And she comes off as really conceited. Now it's kind of like, who's he gonna go for? You know, we're not like fighting each other for him. I think we're all trying to just give everything we got to win his affection. So has anyone kissed him yet? I have. Abby? I have too. <laughs> You're like, so I'm not so sure that he's going to be picking um, either Zoe or Maxie since they haven't had that chance to really express himself. I think it's really going to be down to me and Mika. Making it through the first one, how surprised I was because I totally did not think that he was going to keep me at all. I'm ready for this one to be like a one too. It's a lot harder now. I got him down to four. I've gotten to know these girls on a very personal and romantic level. There's feelings involved. Um, I like every single one of those girls. Evening, ladies. Good evening. Welcome back to the bouquet room. Seems quite spacious now, doesn't it? We're just four left. Yes, it does. I think you guys had a wonderful day today. Lots of fun. Unfortunately, after today's ceremony, once again, Glenn will be halving the four of you just down to two. Two of you will be battling it out for Glenn's heart. Fierce competition. And unfortunately, two of you will be leaving us. So, good luck to all of you. Glenn, as you know, you've got two bouquets next to you there. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you feeling okay about this? I feel okay. All right. I would like to present my first bouquet to a woman who I really realized today is uh, completely genuine. You know, genuine in the sense that she is who she is and she and she's proud of who she is. She's super confident, very, very attractive woman. Um, I enjoy every second I have with her. That's how I want to start a potential loving relationship. So I'd like to present my first bouquet Okay, Glenn, one bouquet left to go. This must be very difficult for you, and I'm sure very excruciating for you ladies. So, if you'd like to make your last decision. Leanne, I had a great time fishing with you today. That was really, really fun. Um, you're a wonderful girl who's got such a focus in life, who, um, gosh, is going to go so far and reach the stars, and I know you have all the capability of doing that, and I really look up to that. Zoe, what did you think about flying those kites? It was fun. It was fun. Um, I enjoyed being able to spend the time on the beach with you. It was great to look out over the ocean and see the dolphins and the waves. That was so pretty. I got to realize that you are a fun person. You've always been a fun person. And that's, that's really cool. And I want to let you know I also had a wonderful time today. Thank you. Maxie, what a restaurant, huh? That was a great restaurant. It's nice. You looked wonderful. Well, you looked wonderful now also. Um, I got to know you have a huge heart. And you're, uh, you're a very independent woman and you, you're very, very awesome. Thank you. I want to thank you for a wonderful time as well. All right. I'd like to present my final bouquet. <sighs> Mika.
Zelly. that the other girl was Zoe, because we had a connection too. I mean, he picked me for the dinner and gave me the necklace, and so I figured we had a little connection. We had a great day today too. I thought we were on a pretty good, you know, kind of good road. Thank you very much. Okay. You're an awesome yeah, person. It's great, it's great. You are what I say you are. You're Thank awesome. You. All right, take care, okay? okay. All right. Lexi? I was disappointed that you didn't pick me, but it's not the end of the world. Thank you. It was great yeah. to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. There's a lot of guys out there that I'm more compatible with than Glenn. <laughs> and then there were two. Congratulations to you both. And now it's basically down to the two of you to battle it out to win over Glenn. Who's it going to be? Well, we're going to give you both a little bit more quality time with Glenn right now. So enjoy the rest of your evening. about like not not having any expectations and how that can be good you know and how it can be bad there's no like horrible outcome or a wonderful outcome it's just like whatever happens which is how I am spontaneous whatever you know and I think he's a lot the same way he wants to find somebody which is exactly what I'm looking for now. how you doing Good morning. We took a limo to Santa Monica. What are we doing? Air service. It's like an air service, too. Maybe we'll get the fly somewhere. Got on a helicopter, which neither of us have ever ridden on before. Are you a good pilot? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> good. <laughs> thing about Zoe is that I feel her whole life is about having fun and living life to the fullest. Oh, break! I hit the break. I laugh a lot with her. She's got a beautiful smile. Man, this, this is, oh, it's like a dream come true, you know? This is, like, surreal. We had a chance to talk in the helicopter, just driving around in the carts all over Catalina Island just buzzing around, you know, all over these roads. We had so much fun. Gosh, I'm starving. Yeah, she made me feel like a man. To be treated like a man to me means you are, can be yourself 110%. She just made me feel like I was just part of her life. She made me glad to be who I was. She made me excited just to be with her because she, like she said something, she's like, man, I was with these little people and I got to know them, and I just forgot there were little people within a matter of hours. And I didn't realize, you know, she's not about the cover. She's about the inside. To a great time. Thank you for all the moments you've had today. Zoe's not just a gorgeous woman. She has a, that southern accent. So I'm sure my buddies will feel very jealous if I ask me about everything that happened. I never, like, really asked you, but, um, like, when was, when was your last, like, relationship? Like, two years ago. The first semester in college. He's totally caring. And seriously, Really, he is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. I mean, bottom line, the guy's got a heart of gold. So hey. yeah. <laughs> Glenn was relaxed for a while at some points, and then I think he was getting a little overwhelmed about the whole thing, knowing that he was going to have to get down to the final one sometime soon. But I know he had a good time, I'm sure.
Deliriously laughing so hard, it was incredible. Aww. You're like enough about that thing. No. It's time for our hot thing. I like Karen. See what I have to compare with. I picked Glenna up in a limo, and then we went to Marina del Rey to a gorgeous yacht where there was food awaiting and beverages, and we had an amazing rock star date. <laughs> I have a cat problem. She went to a Chinese restaurant a couple days ago. They had three fortune cookies. She was her and two of her friends. And Mika's fortune said, short stranger will soon end your life. Bizarre. This is not a fake thing. I didn't print it up or anything. Peking Noodle Company. <laughs> she had it in her pocket. And she's bringing it out on, the, on this yacht where we're doing 35 miles an hour and just crashing waves. And she was just sweet about it. She forgot everything. I was zoned in with her. It was probably one of the most touching moments I've ever had in my entire life. We went up to a room and they had dinner waiting for us there with a violinist. Just <laughs> I've never had a violinist play music during a dinner date. I know you're a lot better today than I did say this morning. I remember I myself. Yeah. I'm glad you opened up. It was nice. There's still a lot more about me, though. I'm, I'm sure. sure there's a lot more about you. Yep. You're a big pimp in it today. I know, right? Very lucky man. Two ladies in one day. Two special ladies? Yeah, very much. One so. special lady? Or two? Two very special ladies. I have a really tough choice to make. A really, decision. really tough choice. Tonight was incredible. Thank you so much. Let's go, cool, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very tough decision. It's, it's, it's it to come down to this. It's tough because today I spent some really close time with these two wonderful ladies. So yeah, it's very tough, but I'm confident that I'm gonna make the right decision tonight. Okay, 007, <laughs> there's someone I want you to meet. Meet Mr. Adam Graham from diamonds.com. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to see you from diamonds.com, and uh, there's something Adam would like to show you. All right. Beautiful. Let me tell you about this ring. This is a two-carat set in a platinum ring. What do you think of that? That's a beautiful thing. That's stunning. Yes, it is. A bit of advice. Diamonds will get you everywhere, every time. <laughs> We'd like you to present this ring to the lady of your choice, the lady who's won your heart. Right. Are you ready to do that? I'm totally I'm ready. so excited. I'm excited. It's a lot of stress, but it's both so attractive. And uh, it's just coming down to just Picking the perfect one. Okay, Glenn. Now, when we started on this romantic adventure of yours, we introduced you to 12 wonderful women. Of course. And then, as time went by, relationships grew, and it was a struggle to eliminate each lady one by one. Yes, it was. Hard. Very hard. And then there were two, Zoe and Mika. But now the time has come to say goodbye to one. Because as you know, you can only have one. So, is the lucky lady gonna be Zoe? Or Mika? I can't wait to find out. Good luck. Thank you.
When I'm standing out there in front of Glenn tonight, I would be nervous. I mean, I think that Nico really wants to win. She wanted to make sure that I was still gonna, you know, play the game. And I'm like, well, yeah. The worst case scenario for tonight is that someone gets their feelings hurt. Bottom line. Well, you know, it's down to the two. And uh, I had a wonderful, wonderful time with you today. It was okay. crazy. Helicopter, going around like golf cart around Catalina. <laughs> it was so much fun, Zoe, and I'm so glad they threw that twist in. You are such an amazing, amazing woman. You should be proud of yourself because you were just all around a great, great woman. Thank you. But I have to say that right now, I can see it just as a friendship. I'm gonna have to tell you that I did not choose you tonight. But I wanna let you know I love you as a friend so much. I'm so grateful that you came into my life. How would you not be disappointed? You know, I'm getting ditched, you know? To anybody, I think it would be hurtful, especially when it got that small. So, it sucks to lose, but, you know. There'll be tension. I have no idea what's gonna go down, but I would love to end the fairy tale hand in hand with him. You look great, Mika. <laughs> How you doing? Doing well. Good. Oh my goodness. As you know, you guys, two of you guys are uh, pretty close. And you guys are two wonderful, wonderful women. Mm -hmm. I had a chance, and I was lucky enough to go on two wonderful dates with you guys today. One with her, and one with you. Coming home tonight, I had I really, really, really had a hard time with this. Mm -hmm. Really hard time. Like, I had a great time with Zoe. It was just, I can't even put it into words. It was real, it was down to earth, it was exciting. She really made me feel like a man. She made me feel great to be me. Um, I really enjoyed that. And, you know, that was a wonderful experience I got to have with her. And I just, I didn't want it to end. But, um, you know what? You won my heart. I did? Yeah. Aww. Your beauty runs from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Your heart is so big. And I can't even sit here and tell you Millions and millions of words of all the comments could possibly, possibly tell you. That I'd be here forever. I'd be writing the first book called Infinity. Thank you. So I want to present you with a gift, okay? Don't mm. be nervous. Yeah. Oh. You're very welcome. All right, don't be nervous. I can tell you get a little nervous. I'm getting nervous. Hold on a second. This ring is not a ring of engagement. This ring is not a promise ring. This ring is to say thank you. Hey, you are such a great person. I found a best friend. And who knows where this crazy life might take us, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. something. All right. You're such a genuine soul and so caring for others, for all the other girls too. You've made everyone feel so comfortable with who they are and that you're not eliminating anyone because of anything personal. And I can't even believe I'm here. <laughs> I am. I didn't know I'd make it this far. Me? You I'm deserve honored. every bit of this. I'm honored. So, thank you so much. You're so Sorry, three's a crowd, I know. <laughs> Congratulations. I gotta see the rock first thing first. Look at that. 
What a beauty. How are you feeling, Rika? Unbelievable. Yeah? Unreal. Not here. <laughs> Are you ready for another surprise? Sure, give it to me. I'm not adding three more what ladies. You, you don't have to worry. <laughs> I can tell you, I feel that we should start this relationship off with a bang. All right. And we're going to send you to the Mediterranean to sail around on a beautiful cruise ship. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All around the Mediterranean. Trust me, it is amazing. Well, I just want to say congratulations to you both. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much for being here and taking part. Thank and you. Uh, you guys rock. <laughs> Have a great time. Send me a postcard. Oh, we will. Send me a postcard. Thank you, dear. You're wonderful. I'll give you some alone time. All right. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>